Airdrops are one of the craziest things about the entire crypto space. You know, think about just being an early user to an application and then getting rewarded with thousands of dollars in free cryptocurrency. You know, this has happened to me several times with applications like Uniswap, ENS, One Inch Exchange, and so much more. I know some of that sounds too good to be true, like it might be a scam, but it's 100% legit because you have all these different crypto projects that are trying to release new tokens. And the playbook for doing this is to reward early adopters who have actually used the application so that you can bootstrap a healthy ecosystem. In this video, I'm going to talk about a brand new opportunity with the Arbitrum platform that is likely to do an airdrop in the future, in my opinion, and how you can position yourself for this. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory here on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about how to get in on this potential Arbitrum airdrop. So let's kind of set the stage for how these crypto airdrops work in the first place. Let's use past examples. So let's talk about the Uniswap airdrop, for example. That was one of the first major airdrops that kicked off this whole strategy, where basically you get people who have actually made transactions on the blockchain with your application, and then you take a snapshot of that, and then you airdrop tokens to you know people who have done that. So the playbook is basically trying to figure out who does not have a token yet and then start doing transactions with that technology. Because in many ways, it's sort of like the idea that whoever doesn't have a token yet is probably going to have a token. Now, another reason to think that Op Arbitrum is going to do an airdrop is because, you know, well, guess what? Optimism has done an airdrop. And because it's such a main competitor chain, like, it stands to reason they're probably going to do an airdrop of some kind. All right, so now let's talk about how to position yourself for this airdrop. Now, you know, full disclosure, there's no way to know exactly how they're going to, you know, reward people. You can go look at other airdrops that happened in the past, like Uniswap, ENS, right? And you can also look at recent ones like uh, Optimism, because they're starting to get kind of advanced in how they do some of these things to, you know, filter out people who are just airdrop farming. But I'm going to give you some some ideas. So first and foremost, you want to get onto the network and start doing some transactions so that you can, you know, use dApps and stuff like that. So the main way to do this is by using a bridge. So this is just a, some technology that lets you connect your MetaMask wallet and take funds. So in this case, like cryptocurrency, like Ether, for example, and then move them over to the Arbitrum ecosystem. So you need a MetaMask wallet, you need to go to bridge.arbitrum.io and use it. So I'll, I'll talk about that later in the video. I'm just gonna give you the highlight overview for now. If you want to practice this, I highly recommend doing it on a test network first before you do the mainnet. And of course, don't bridge any of funds that you can't afford to lose because there's always risks associated with using bridges when you're getting on these ecosystems, okay? So once you're on the ecosystems themselves, you can look at some different uh, applications and start using them, okay? So you can think about it. lots of applications that exist on Ethereum right now have uh, deployments to Arbitrum, like one inch exchange. It'd be a pretty easy strategy just to swap some tokens, like take your Ether and swap it for USDC and vice versa, uh, or some other coin, right? Uh, or even you had stable coins, you could just swap stable coins around. So one thing I want to mention here also is you're going to need Ether in order to use Arbitrum in the first place, because that's how you pay the gas fees. Um, that's the whole beauty of layer twos. Like they're, they're meant to help Ethereum scale and you need Ether to continue paying the gas fees in those ecosystems. So even if you decide to swap stable coins around, you still need to, you know, pay with Ether for gas fees, but the fees are a lot cheaper than the Ethereum network once you're on, uh, the ecosystem itself. So I want to draw your attention though to two other main efforts, uh, that could likely, uh, be a factor in who gets airdrops and how much. So the first one is going to be this thing called Arbitrum Odyssey. Okay, so basically Arbitrum Odyssey is going to be an event where you can participate with different projects uh, in Arbitrum, okay, and then you can get like rewarded with free to mint NFTs. So that's all I got for today. As always, you know, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It really helps videos out so they're more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? So... That's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.